This is scripture and sermon for Sunday, February 14th, 2021 from First Presbyterian Church of Gardner, Kansas. And as it is February 14th and Valentine's Day, we are all in about love. We're talking about God's love today. The scripture passages are all about God's love. And we're talking about that and sharing God's love in Jesus Christ our Lord. And we're going to explore that theme all morning long. So, listen to God's word today. First is from John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. The second reading is from Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 29. Just then, a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he said, asking Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Final reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoings, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part, but when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now, we see in a mirror dimly. But then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now, faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Here in this reading, may God bless these readings to our understanding and give us grace. Amen. All of these scripture passages are familiar. All of these are about love. We've heard them many, many times. Love is familiar in scripture. In honor of Valentine's today, the worship service is all about love. Um, as I believe God is all about love. Uh, in worship on Sunday morning, uh, we're going to try to put love into action, and we're going to do some things a little bit differently. Uh, so at home, whenever you watch this, I I'm going to challenge you to 
try to do the same thing. Put on your thinking cap, and uh, as I preach and as you hear this, it will be a slightly shorter sermon, I think, uh, so that later on you can brainstorm for yourself and do something today or in the time that you would have set aside for listening to a sermon. Do something later today or later this week to put your love into action. Uh, the sermon title for today is Love God and Love People. And actually, the title is stolen. Uh, Eric Gorley, our church member, um, gave me that sermon title, talked about that sermon, or talked about that message, Love God and Love People, several months ago before his cancer uh, came back. Eric is our best witness to God's grace. Uh, God's witness to love in action. Because Eric says that uh, that statement, love God, love people, should be our mission statement, the, the mission statement of our church, the mission statement of every good Christian person. Love God, love people. That's what it's about, being a Christian. That simple, that straightforward. Each day, love God, each day, love people. Um, on a day like today, on a day like Valentine's Day, when we talk about love, love is not an emotion. It's not a feeling. Uh, it is not piety and faithfulness and righteousness and holiness. It is not something that you think about. Love is something you do. Love is action. Love is, in reality, always doing something, being something in the world, active. So I could preach at you for several minutes, several hours probably, about what love means and theorize and talk about it. Um, we could read the scripture, lots of scripture about love. Most of scripture is about God and how God is love. We could pick apart, apart each word of the scripture passages that we have talked about. Patient, what is that? Kind, what does it mean to be such? Bears all things. Love never ends. What does that mean? We could, we could spend hours picking that apart. In fact, most of my sermons throughout my life for most of my ministry have been about that theme of God is love. If you break down everything I preach most of the time, that's what I say. God loves you. That is fundamental to my theology. If you had to break it down into one message, God loves you. God loves the world. God loves all of us. It's all about love. God loves who you are. All of who you are. Not because you're a certain type of person and you do a certain type of thing, but because Love is who God is. God is love personified in Jesus Christ. God is love. And if you understand God, then you understand love. If you understand love, then you understand God. God loves people quite different from you and me. And God loves people just like you and me. God loves people of all kinds. God loves people who have made mistakes. God loves, period, continue sentence. And that's what grace is. God loves, that is the essence of God. Remember John 3, 16, God so loves the world that God gave the only son that whoever believes, that whoever turns to Jesus, that whoever wants to know God, Jesus is the evidence of God's amazing love for us. God saves. God forgives. God redeems the world through the love poured out in Jesus Christ. Beyond the general, the world, beyond that big picture, God loves the particular, the individual, you, me. God adores the one, just as you are, just as we are. You belong to God. 
God loves you. Absolutely, unconditionally, and abundantly. Soak it in. Receive it. All the love. Receive all the love that you can imagine and more. So, that resp our response to that, to that love of God, is the sermon title. Our response to that love that God pours over us is love God, love people. Because God loves us, we want to love God. We want to love people. It's not a requirement. It is a response to God's love. We want to love God. We want to love people, all other people. As the reading from Luke reminds us, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Because, because of that overwhelming, transforming, magnificent love of God that you have already received, then we learn to love others because of that love God has already given. We are called to love others, to love those who are unlike ourselves, even to love our enemies. And that's hard. How do you do that? How to love God and love others, how to love even your enemies, is what our entire, the entire rest of our life and discipleship is about. Learning how to love is what everything else is all about. And as I said, love is active caring for the good of someone else, active doing for someone else, doing good for somebody, for anybody, everybody. And that can show up in a million different ways, from hugs to writing letters, making phone calls, cleaning the house, doing dirty jobs, working in a soup kitchen, sorting clothing, offering healing, offering teaching, listening, working for justice, standing up for what is right, trying to change the world for the better. It can show up, love can show up in a million different ways. So on Sunday, in worship, instead of just talking about love, talking about what love is, uh, we're going to try to put love into action a little bit. Um, instead of talking about what we already know to be true about what love is, instead of talking about God, we're going to try to do love a little bit for Valentine's Day. Uh, and so I'm going to encourage you to try to do that at home as well. Um, at church, we assembled a few little fun activities to do. Um, and uh, ho hopefully you'll be able to think about something that you can do as well in, in worship. We're going to um, have a little music on and, and uh, write notes to God, love letters to God, or notes to people we're missing, love letters to church members or valentines to church members that we're missing, or... Uh, Thank you notes to people in the community, first responders and folks like that that were um, missing. We might be doing that or doing little crafts that somebody might appreciate and then we'll take those out into the community and thinking about that. Now that's not a very hard thing to do. Maybe you'll be able to do something like that or something more challenging. Think about something that you might be able to do. Um, and maybe you will be able to do something that expresses your love, God's love, through you in some other way. Love God today. Write a note to God. Say a prayer to God. Love people today, tomorrow, in some way, in the name of Jesus Christ. The challenge of this day is to love God, to love people. That's the challenge of every day. To love perhaps those in this congregation, to love people in the world, to love your neighbors, to love your family. We're hoping that we will be able to be blessed today as we experience God's love and share God's love. And I hope that you will also be blessed in that experience. Know that God is with you.
whatever happens today and in the days ahead. Know that God loves you always. And respond to God's grace, God's love, given fully and freely to you. Receive God's love today and respond in any way that you are able to, in any way that you feel called to respond today, as you love God, as you love people. Let us continue in loving action now and in the days ahead. And may you be blessed, blessed by the grace of God in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.